like to uh, to be here for this night for Coach Snyder? I loved it. Uh, such a great tribute to Coach Snyder and his family. So uh, just glad to be a you know honored to be a part of it. And I uh, love being back here in Manhattan. You know I. Love my time here. I was here from the ground floor with Coach Snyder and uh, very proud of our years here. Those I was with him the first seven years and uh, my wife and I, we, we loved our time here. So I uh, had a lot of great memories. What was it like coming back to coach here against him? Well, I don't, you know, I, well, Coach and I have a strong relationship. You know, like I said, it, we had been in the, I was at Iowa with them for nine years, four playing, five as a coach and then together on his staff for seven years. So we, we've been part of fighting together for about 180, 200 games. You know, that's that's a lot of time. And when you there's a strong bond when you've competed with someone that way. And then when you have to play against them, it's never, I never liked it, you know, whether it be family or close associates like that, you'd rather not have to play against them. But uh, but I, I commented, I said, but I knew if you're if you're playing them, you better get ready and strap it on because they're always tough, and and uh, you you know you better be ready to play your best if you're going to have a chance to win. A lot of the players up there were talking about the personal impact he made on them as much as the football impact for you as a coach. Which did he make the greater impact on you on as a man or a coach? Well, it's uh, you know everything. You, you know, someone uh, Coach Snyder's made an impact on me in every part of, of my life, as a like you said, as a man or in a, and as a coach and. And the way you operate and what, what you do, the attention to detail, um, you know, and also the discipline, the toughness to to fight through things, which he, you know, he constantly did here. Has he asked you for retirement <laughs> No, he hasn't. But uh, I don't know if I have any good ones. It's been hard on me. So, uh, uh, but anyway, Coach, will, he'll figure it out, and uh, he'll 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 be uh, he'll be knocking on doors and keeping busy if I know him. I've heard he had some pretty inventive ways of what maybe some other coaches would call when you worked here and maybe asked to talk to you about other jobs of keeping them. <laughs> yeah, he had a good he had a good way of not letting them through get through to me. <laughs> so uh no just kiddingly but uh yeah well he wasn't real uh he wasn't real uh he wasn't going down the hall looking for me let's put it that way which is okay. He uh you know coach did a lot of great things here and I was again fortunate to be a part of it for the seven years I was here. I had a I had a blast. Loved my time, time here. There was so much coaching talent when you were here on those early staffs. I mean, when you think back to it, did you realize at that time so many of you guys would go on to do what you did? Well, I don't know that we did, but I, one of my favorite memories is uh, the Copper Bowl victory, sitting in the hot tub with me and Jim Levitt, my brother Mike, and uh, Brent Venables. The four of us were sitting in there. A couple of us had cigars, and we had just won the Copper Bowl and felt like, hey, we had finally – you know, stepped stepped out, and we were somebody to deal with from now on, and uh, that's a that's a fun memory for me. Was it hard watching some of the OU highlights on there? No, tonight? not at all. I'm I've had a few good ones too through the years, so I've, I've I've been pretty blessed and fortunate to have my share of good ones too. So I'm that was a that was a great game, Coach and his team played the year they beat us in the in the championship. So. Um, you know, they, they deserve a tip of the hat there for sure. Is there any one accomplishment or one feat that stands out to you about what Coach Snyder did? Well, I, I just, I think, uh, no, there's so much that he's did that you have to respect all of it. But like I said up there, I don't think until you lived it like we lived it, anyone really had, as much as people talk about it, if you didn't live it every day how poor this and bad this program was and to bring it back and, and to get it where it, you know where it is now, and and uh, to win that Copper Bowl like we did took a lot, and uh, and he's he was the one that directed it all. His his toughness and his attention to detail and determination. He's the one that got it done with all of us, but he's the one that directed it. At 11:30 was early going home. What was like normal? Oh, you never knew. 11:30, 12:30, whatever. You know, it just depended on the night. So. Where are you, cool. Where are you in the XFL at right now? Uh, it, it's early, so uh, we're just a lot of meetings and building up to it. So, all right, thanks. thanks.